Hey, what's going on guys? So yesterday you got a couple uh, little clips of me welding on the truss. This has been a project I've been working on for a little bit with this Dana 60. I've got a shave kit on it, got a truss, I'm going to high steer, and it's going to my Bronco. So I got a bit done over the winter and it's kind of been on hold for a bit until now. This past week I went and blew out a wheel bearing on the Bronco and I could go and replace it. It's not a big deal. But I'm like, I'm going to put new parts in it. I might as well put all my new parts in this axle. This is going to have uh, better calipers, bigger brakes, just a bunch of stuff, the troughs, the shave kit. So you know what? If I have it all sitting here, I might as well get it done and put it under the truck before the wheeling season starts. So this has been kind of something I've been waiting to do, and uh, the time is now. So what I'm going to be doing right now is heating up this cast. This has to get to about 400 degrees. I wish I... Probably should get the acetylene torch out, but we're going to try to do it with this, and then hopefully the welder will keep us where we need to be. But, uh, yeah, we want to be 400 degrees on the cast. We're going to keep it up to a uh, higher amperage and, you know, weld this down. Once this is welded on the outside, I have this little piece of armor plate that goes on top here. I'm going to weld that down. And then following that, I'm going to take off the front cover, take out the ring that I have installed currently, and then I'm going to weld this all from underneath because it needs to be, you know, oil tight. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there really shouldn't be too much to it. After it's all said and done, I'm going to wrap it with a uh, welding blanket or two. And so it cools overnight or, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take to cool, but I'll wrap it up well. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it's all good. I mean, I've seen a few people do it. I don't think anyone's been super, super crazy and technical with how they've done it. So, you know, hopefully it works out. If not, learning experience and you guys hopefully will learn from me. So, that being said, let's get this thing heated up and uh, so we get welded on it. Heat it up. There is a lot of moisture and there's a lot of metal to heat, so hopefully this propane torch will do it. I've got a couple propane bottles. The little torch was slow going, so we're stepping it up here. 135,000 BTUs. Let's see how quick that warms it up. Well, it. Okay, take two with the torpedo heater. We had to go out and get some diesel. Now we're glowing. Cool, almost a thousand degrees of heat. We're at a hundred or so. It's only been about 45 seconds a minute. Or... All right. We'll uh, let the actual roast and uh, we'll get back to it. It's been another minute or two. I pushed the Turbo heater closer, torpedo heater, sorry. And, uh, yeah, we're warming up, 160. And this bar's also cooking. We're getting there. You can see the moisture coming out of the cast here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but. back inside the box garage sweatshop. We're uh, probably going to have to hit this with a torch. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much where we need to be in spots. We'll hit it with a torch one or two more times and uh, we're going to get welding. So, I think we're good. A couple tacks, a couple tacks. Wow, it is toasty.
What pulling? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's doing pretty well. I like that. All right, I'm gonna give her one up front. Watch your eyes too with the louder. Hopefully I didn't weld the cover on right there, but we're getting close. Cool. I'm going to uh, jump around. You know what I don't get what? is how this is okay for phones, but the Eclipse isn't. I think that was BS. Probably. You, anyone knows better than that? Please inform us what the difference is. I, this probably isn't good for phones either, to be completely honest. Yeah. I think I'm going to do this all the way around, and I'm going to lay one big fat weld over all of it. So uh, we had a little issue we ran into. Some of the coating off the wire kind of got jammed up and stopped feeding. Things feeding pretty quick, so we had to go through, pull it back out, stick the wire, clean out the line. I threw the blanket over the top. Everything's still pretty hot, so we're going to keep trucking here and uh, burn this thing in. There we go. That's what we like. anything and knock some scale off at least I'm just gonna do one heavy weld all the way around put that plate on do it again and uh, then we'll move to the inside but I mean I think this probably is waterproof now but I mean we're here let's weld it up That's uh, I think that's pretty sweet. Again, I don't know if this helps, but this is what I read. I'm gonna leave that ledge in the front, I think, to uh, weld to and not butcher the face for the uh, you know, the diff cover mounts. Yeah, maybe I'll even back it up a little bit more and try to make that even. I gotta stop touching that hot top. I think like that would be good. Let me lay a tack or two in the back here and then uh, get going. One. So we got this tacked on the bottom. This is our uh, primitive our skid piece. So uh, I'm gonna go weld this around, take off the cover, weld the front, and then we'll go to the inside. Not too shabby, I do say so myself. I don't think she's going anywhere. Oh my. And here's the moment of truth on this. And it's on whether, how badly I welded this on. Uh, there was a dead blow. There was a dead blow. Not terribly bad. Ugh. All right. Clean that up. I'm not too worried about that. Let's go set this out of the way. And what we're going to do now is weld right here. We're going to weld across there. Then we're going to pull out this pinion. Oh man. Is that not like the turn anymore? Ooh, whoa. <laughs> Don't touch that. Huh. It just was locked in from all the welding, I think. Which is fine, because I'm throwing all this away. As long as the new one will go in and spin nicely, we're good. But, uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna weld this quick. Ah, I gotta be careful about those holes. Maybe I should put those bolts back in. With what, dialysis or grease on them or something? Or some uh, never sees. Never sees. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the gun? There's the gun. Let me see this. Hundred and sixty-three. Yeah, like it didn't like immediately scold my hand. But the hot enough thing, it's hot. And like, oh shit, maybe I shouldn't touch this. Do you see the never sees boiling? Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh. It's bubbling up. Alright. Let's put these in. Let's go and hopefully keep our threads okay. Oh, I probably didn't need to do that, but they go in nice. No, I know, but I didn't know if the weld would warp them. Being right there. All right. Let's go wipe this clean, and then we'll go pull out this plate and do that. Note the self, don't make these studs. <laughs> Just weld them in solid. We're gonna make the studs. No, we're not going to make them studs. Uh, ben is heating the inside before I weld it up. We just got out the uh, carrier, which I left in since it's kind of a junk one I'll be getting rid of. Um, a lot of chips in there. I'll make sure to get them all out before I weld. But really, this looks like a pretty nice fit, place to weld in. I thought it'd be a little tight. Maybe just a little bit on the inside of this. We'll use with the fire. But for the most part, everything else should be good. So I'm going to get a brush, wipe all these chips, and uh, get weld. We're also going to take some tin foil and cover up all our machine surfaces that have a little bit of chips on them out too. Just because I don't want any slag landing on them. Tin foil is in to protect machine surfaces, except for just the outer edge here, but I don't think I'm getting any slag on that. I've been heating this. And we'll heat it a little bit more, and then it's time to weld and, uh, you know, then wrap it with a blanket. So let's start with that. All right, the inside's welded. I'm about to go over with the needler. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. It honestly may not be pretty at all but uh i'm gonna go over it with the needler and i think it's on there pretty well it should hold so I'll clean it up with the needler reheat it and then we're gonna go wrap it welding blankets and i think i'll leave the tin foil in there too might as well probably keep a little bit of heat in so we'll see looks all better needle scale or at least i think so we did the inside weld that up got the uh turbo eater whatever that thing is salamander and now we got a turkey fryer uh, temp gauge that we're going to ready to deep fry. We're almost ready to deep fry. We're going to go wrap this thing in the, the welding blanket to leave that kind of out. So I think it'd be interesting to see how long it takes to actually cool down. So, uh, yeah, something interesting to watch. We want to get a little bit warmer first, though. So while we're here, this thing's all heated up. We're like, you know what? Let's just go weld the axle tubes here. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave four tacks, and then I'm gonna go weld the entire tube. So let's get to that. Gonna oh, welder on. Say, gonna need the welder on. Need welder on for that. Hey.
That came out pretty good, I thought. I mean, you start over here and I'll work my way up. Yeah. Cool. It's a welded axle, too, if I've ever seen one. Talking her in to go to sleep. All right, it's 8.25 p.m. We got it all wrapped up. Uh, Buck 75 says the uh, air temperature in there. Let's see uh, how it stays. That's three welding blankets. We're going to go let this thing rest for a bit. But uh, it's been about four minutes, and the ambient air temperature looks to have actually gone up a little bit. So I guess maybe the, uh, the metal's letting off some temp. I don't know, but uh, kind of cool. And maybe I'll check in about an hour and see uh, see where it's at. All right, guys, it's nine thirty three, so it's been a little bit over an hour. And uh, yeah, we're at one hundred and fifty degrees on here, so it's cooling, cool, cooling. Uh, you know, pretty slowly. So I'm happy with that. And I think at this point, I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you guys want to go and check out the axle being put together, be sure to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. It is 1124, and we're still a little up over 100, so that's kind of cool. All right, I'm ended up with this. I'm going to bed.